The No Mono Sound Capsule reviewed. The latest from podnews.net with supporting cast, the platform leading publishers trust most. Pod News has reviewed the No Mono Sound Capsule. It's an ingenious field recording tool from Norway. But what does it do and who would benefit from it the most? You'll find our full review in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. The Podcast Academy has announced the association's 2023 to 24 officers. Donald Albright continues as chairperson. Christy Mirabal continues as vice chairperson. New secretary is Martha C. Little from Audible. And the new treasurer is Sierra Reed from Vision Media Partners. Sound Out, a sonic brand tracking company, has published the Sound Out Index 2023, containing a look at top company sonic brands in the US. You might recognize Audible's at 104, though I couldn't tell you what it sounds like. Acast's North Star sonic brand is at number 111. At 64 is YouTube. At number 12, it's Netflix. And this is the most recognizable sonic logo in all of the US. And I hope you're proud. Podsites has released its latest podcast advertising benchmark report. The average conversion rate in 2022 was 1.21%. That's a 9% year-on-year increase. Conversion rates for mobile app installs rose sharply by 44%, says the data. Good night, Spotify Live. The app shut for good yesterday. And let's change the standard for host-read advertising, says Nick Hilton in a blog post. He argues we're undervaluing the medium, echoing Dan Granger's thoughts in the podcast Business Journal last Friday. You'll find links to both of those in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. In People News, SCA, the owner of the Listener app in Australia, has announced a new CEO, John Kelly. He's the company's current COO, and the current CEO, Grant Blackley, will step down on June the 30th. Time for some tech stuff and YouTube music. According to the technical data that's visible in the app and checked against a list we've found, makes all audio 128 kilobits a second AAC. That's roughly the same audio quality as 160 kilobits a second MP3. At podcast MP3. Podcast app Pocket Guru now supports Podping, so you'll get real-time notifications when your podcast app has released new shows within a minute or so, unlike Apple, Spotify or others who can take much longer. And there's now a new space for announcements when changes have been made to the new podcast namespace. And there are a few technical additions to the value for value specs announced in there already. You'll find the link in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. And in podcast news, let's not be kidding with Gavin Crawford is new from CBC Podcasts today about a comedian, his mother and her dementia. Host and creator Gavin Crawford's seven episode series is part memoir, part stand up and part meditation on grief and loss and a dose of the very best medicine for anyone dealing with hard times. And 10,000 Things with Shin Yu Pai returns today from KUOW, Seattle's NPR station. It's a vibrant, diverse and bittersweet celebration of Asian America and a challenge for all of us to reimagine stories of the past and the future. Across the series, Shin Yu Pai explores a collection of objects and artefacts that tell us something about Asian American life, from a second-hand novel to a blue suit. This podcast is sponsored by Supporting Cast. Supporting Cast clients took home an impressive 13 of the 27 awards at this year's Ambis ceremony. Build your premium podcast offering on the platform leading publishers trust most. Visit supportingcast.fm. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. Podnews.